With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is, a spherical ball of mass 5 kg is resting on a plane with angle of inclination 30 degree with respect to the horizontal as shown in the figure. The ball is held in place by a rope attached horizontally to the top of the ball and to the slope. The frictional force acting on the ball is. So here we can say the forces acting on this let's say here spherical ball will be component of weight along the inclined plane which here is mg sin 30 and perpendicular component to the inclined plane is mg cos 30 degree normal let's say from the inclined plane will be acting along this direction so we can say here this will come out as since it says mass is 5 kg so we can say here mg sin 30 degree mass is 5 g here is 10 and sin of we have here as 30 degree so 50 into 1 by 2 becomes equal to we can say here as 25 in similar manner let's say this component here comes to be mg cos 30 degree so 50 cos 30 so this comes to be 50 into root 3 by 2 hence this comes as 25 root 3 Next, we can say here friction will be acting. Let's say this 25 component will slide this spherical ball along the inclined plane downwards. Hence, friction will be acting along this direction in upward direction. So, this is the direction of friction force. Next, we can say here tension on a taut string will be acting along this direction. So, this here is our tension. So, now we can say here if we draw a line parallel to the inclined plane hence this angle is 30 degree so this angle shall also be equal to 30 degree as we can say here that let's say these two angles are corresponding angles here this is our normal reaction force now on resolving this tension along two directions we can say here this component of tension will come out here as our T cos of 30 degree and this component of tension here will come out here as T sin of 30 degree. So this component of tension here is our T cos of 30 degree and this component of tension here is our T sin of 30 degree as this one here is root 3 into T upon 2 and this one here is our simply t upon 2 now balancing the forces first along the inclined plane so our first equation here becomes as 25 is equal to we have here as friction plus we can say here as root under 3t divided by 2 we need to find the friction force so this is our equation number one next equation let's say perpendicular to inclined we have here as normal is equal to we can say here this comes as our 25 root 3 plus we can say here our t upon 2 hence this is our equation number 2 now next equation we can say here that about the center net torque has to be 0 as there is no rolling here this is an equilibrium situation so we can say here about the center let's say about center point net torque will be here equal to we can say here as zero so we can say normal and components of weight torque will be zero as we can say here these are the central forces so the torque due to friction about the center which is anti-clockwise will be equal to torque due to this tension which is here we can say as clockwise so we can say here torque due to friction here will be as we can say here as f into r will be equal to here if we say about the center the torque of this tension here we can say here this torque will come out here as we can say here as we have here as t into r as if we draw a r vector let's say from center to this point 
this r vector here will be perpendicular to the tension and its magnitude here will be equal to r so t into r sin 90 degree hence friction here comes out equal to tension hence this here is equation number three so comparing equation number one and three we have here as one and three here gives us as we can say 25 is equal to friction plus we can say here as root under 3 upon 2 into tension here is equal to friction so now taking lcm and so on so this comes as let's say this becomes equal to 2 plus root 3 divided by 2 into f hence friction value comes out to be our 50 divided by we have here as 2 plus root 3 newton so we can say here amongst the four option we can see here option number 3 50 divided by 2 plus root 3 is the corresponding frictional force acting on the ball hence option 3 is our answer for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today